Hey guys, welcome back. My name's Aaron. This is Czar Finance, episode 23, 457 plans. So when it comes to a 457 plan, a 457 plan is basically used for state and uh, subdivision areas of your town or local facilities. Most 457 plans are located at school districts, um, so in addition to their 401ks and or 403bs. Check to see if your employer maybe has a 4057 plan in addition to the 401k and 403b plans. If they do, I encourage you to sign up only if you have made a maximum contribution to your 401k or 403b, and then you can spill any extra money that you had saved up into the 457 to let that grow. Now, um, it's just an, an additional retirement plan that allows you to move your monies into different types of Roth, I mean not Roth, uh, different types of um, mutual funds and, and or stocks, bonds of that nature. And it's just another vehicle to, um, in, in addition to retirement savings. So if you maxed out your 403B or your 401K, then I would take any extra money from there to the 457 plan and then try to max it out. Now the most that you can put in a 457 is $18,000 as of 2016. Uh, you can withdraw the money before 59 and a half, and if you decide to withdraw your money before 59 and a half on the 457 plan, you will be taxed on the money withdrawn, but there will be no penalties. Now, if you are um, maxing out your 403b or your 401k, and you're going to be putting money into the 457 plan, you can essentially put $36,000 aside every single year, which is a huge amount of money that's growing and growing and growing. If you are older than 50 years old, um, you can add an additional catch up a contribution, which is an added $5,000 a year. So that makes it to up to $48,000 per account that you can, uh, I mean, not per account, combined accounts that you can put in addition to your uh, 457 plan. So my advice to you guys in a 457 is pretty simple max out your 401k or your 403b first. Then any extra contributions that you feel that you can, you know, withdraw from your paycheck or do something like that, just throw it into the 457 plan and get started today. Starting now may make you a multimillionaire, and who knows? Wherever attention flows, money goes. All right, my best of luck to you guys. And next week we're going to talk about the 529 plans and how you can start saving for your children's education if you have children or you're planning on having children. Best of luck. Thank you for watching. My name's Aaron. This is our finance episode 23, retirement types. 457 plans. Thank you.